Also new at five labor talks between dozens of Fresno bus drivers in the city break down after they threatened to strike on Monday. Our Natalie Vera in studio tonight with more on what the bus drivers are asking for Natalie. Alex, some bus drivers tell me they're, the biggest issues for them right now are changes to their overtime pay and a policy about bus video surveillance. Fresno City bus drivers say they are fed up with the city's contract negotiations. The leadership of ATU is recommending a rejection of the city's last best and final offer. They held a press conference announcing plans to strike on Monday unless the city comes back with a better proposal. Drivers are asking for a fair contract. You call us heroes and essential workers. But this is not how essential workers deserve to be treated. Around 250 employees would take part in Monday's strike. They feel they're constantly under video scrutiny. They're being asked to be uh, on surveillance 24-7. What other career are asked for, to be under surveillance 24-7? Buses currently have cameras recording all day, and Mayor Jerry Dyer says their proposal actually limits how that video is watched. This contract that we are providing limits management's right to review the video to 30 minutes before a triggering event and 30 minutes after a triggering event. A triggering event could be an accident or a customer complaint, for example. The mayor says a third party can review additional video, explaining this is already possible without the proposed contract. That could be law enforcement, if there's a crime that occurs. It could be risk management, if there's a uh, any type of a claim filed against the city. The union is also unhappy about plans to change their overtime pay. Right now, it applies to anyone who works longer than eight hours in a day or a sixth day in a week. The new contract would define overtime as working more than 40 hours in a week. Dyer says this is designed to reduce unscheduled absences and canceled routes. A bus driver can call in on a Monday and then come in on a Saturday and work for overtime. He says this rule would only apply to people hired after July 1st of this year, though. And council member Mike Carbossi sent a statement saying he stands with the transit union. It reads in part, quote, while most of us are still sleeping, our drivers are out ensuring that residents are getting to work, school, doctors, appointments, anywhere they need to go. Live in studio, I'm Natalie Vera, KC24 Local News. That matters.